Hey, are you there? <laughs> I knew I found you. Shh, 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 don't be scared. It's me, remember? From high school? Yeah, I texted you to come over here. <laughs> it's been such a long time. Where have you been? Oh, college, yes, but you could have visited. I know, I know, it's busy, it's hectic, finals, midterms. I get it, but I missed you. I can't really be myself around anyone else. You know that. You are still the only one I've kind of told my secret to, so. But it's nice to see you. So, how is school, or life in general? I know it's only been a couple of months, but... I really did miss you, and I want to catch up. Uh, there's not really much to say, I guess. Just to school and work. Things here haven't been exactly entertaining, either. Just same old, same old. Monsters, and everything else trying to come into the town, and me and my family having to fight them off. It's kind of boring. Talking to regular friends. I mean, it's not like they're bad, but they aren't you. <laughs> they don't know, and if I told them, you know, I don't think they'd respond very well. <laughs> Let's just keep that between you and me, though. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could tell them, but no. <laughs> yeah, I. I guess, yeah, that would be a bad idea. Um. But maybe one day I can. That would be nice. Although I don't really think that day will come. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you before. I mean that as a compliment. You're trustworthy and... caring and... you wanted to know more about me as soon as I told you. I've never... experienced something like that before. All my life I was told that it... If I told people, they would just run away and scream, but you stayed, and even though we didn't get to talk much when you went away, it still felt like we were connected. I don't know if that's making any sense. I don't want to sound like I'm crazy or anything, but it does, doesn't it? Oh, thank goodness. I wonder what that means. I mean... I guess you could have a couple guesses of what that means, but... I... I don't know. Anyways, um, can I tell you about the werewolf that tried to come in yesterday? Yeah, right before you came back, it was just like, it was really random. Usually werewolves kind of respect their own territory boundaries. It's... different. I guess you just attract monsters, huh? Okay, okay, but it was weird because they, were, they weren't even a big werewolf, it was a small little one. I guess she just got lost. I don't know. Poor thing was terrified when I came over. Apologized and ran off. Said she smelled something sweet. I guess maybe someone was trying to lure them in, but... No one in this town really knows about the monsters except for you. You haven't told anyone, have you? Well, no, I don't really think you've told anyone, but maybe someone overheard us? Maybe when we were talking about it in school. Now, we did try to make it private, but maybe someone saw, like, the notes we were passing. No? Okay, um... Then how could anyone else know... My family surely could not have put out bait for a werewolf to come over. We just made peace with their people. We can't just suddenly turn back on that. No, someone else must have figured it out. Hopefully they only think there's werewolves here. We don't want that mess going on. Me and my family haven't had to, you know, make someone be quiet in a while, and I don't want to go through that again. 
I'd rather be more civil about it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's, that's basically the last entertaining thing. A little worrisome, but that's about it. That's happened. Um, we've had a couple incidents with some fairies trying to trick people. Um, nothing too high scale. I can't wait to introduce you when we have another, uh, gathering. Yes, yes, you were supposed to go last time. You chickened out. Well, I know that was the day you were supposed to leave. You still could have, you know, come for a little bit. I know, I know, but I really want to introduce you to my family. It'll be fun. They don't hate humans, you know. That's another stigma. They'd like you. They really would. I'm being serious. You're fun, loving, caring. You're everything a vampire would ever want. Again, we don't really drink human blood. At least our kind don't. We find it kind of ugh, disgusting. No offense. But still, they still think that we're evil beings that want to just eat and can't satiate our hunger. So, you're kind of like the antithesis of that. Truly amazing. And they would love you for that. Probably want to make you a vampire themselves. Not that they would force you, they wouldn't do that, but they definitely would want to encourage you to become one. <laughs> Especially how much I've talked about you and... Well, of course I've talked about you. You're everything to me. You're my best friend, and always have been, and always will be. I don't know why you think I wouldn't talk about you. If I thought you would be in danger in any way, I wouldn't have. But you're different, as I said. Special. I, I, I don't know what you're insinuating. I'm not insinuating anything. Anyways, it's night outside, so let's look up at the stars. It is quite beautiful here. You know why I picked this place for us to meet up again, right? Yep, <laughs> you got it right. This is where I confessed I was a vampire. <sighs> Shh. It's not that big of a deal. I just... You know how sappy I am. I figured the first time we'd meet again would be at a special place, not just a boring old cafe or something. I think you can see the Big Dipper from here. Yeah, see? <laughs> you just connect them like that. And yep, that's the Big Dipper. That's always been my favorite constellation. I'm not... Listen, I, I'm not trying to beat around the bush. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not doing anything like that. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. There was another reason I brought you here. You have to promise not to laugh or judge me for it. Not that I think you'd judge me, but just in case. Pinky promise? Okay. I like you. A lot. I, I think it's obvious, or it was obvious, still is obvious. I really do. You're everything to me. You always have been, and you always will be. And... I... I can't stay silent on it any longer. I... I love you. And... I hope you can accept that. And accept me for who I am. And how I feel. You? No way. Listen, you don't have to say that just to spare my feelings. <laughs> you... You feel the same way? No. <laughs> yes? <laughs> I... 
I am overwhelmed. I'm sorry. I it just I was not expecting you to feel the same way, especially with you and that one girl and everything else. Uh, speak louder than words. I'm so happy. Thank you. I love you. Now, really, let's, let's just gaze up at the stars, okay? Because it really is a beautiful night.